Hello and welcome to the show. We are here on Beam NG Drive with a challenge. Yes, I'm going to see just how fast we can get a piano to go. Piano is a new prop added to the game from the latest update and I'm going to try and go yeah, as fast as fast as possible. Now one of the other new features of this uh, latest update is something that allows you to connect any node to anything which is how I have essentially strapped the piano to the roof of a D series. Would it make more sense for it to fit into the bed? Possibly. It's actually really awkward. It was much easier for me to strap it to the roof than it was. I spent a good 10 minutes faffing about trying to get the piano to go into the... or sit in the bed nicely. It does also occasionally get a bit stuck in both the wheel arches and in the sort of roll hoop bit. So, yeah, we're strapped into the roof of the D-Series. It's going to be our starting point, our starting vehicle, if you like, to see uh, how fast we can get it to... Get it to go. I mean, I'm hoping for 150 plus miles an hour. We're probably not going to do it. Well, we're not going to do it with this. I don't think the D-Series can do 150 on its own. But this is a solid uh, baseline. And we're going to start off by trying to do it on a normal road as well. This is the Sandy Mountain map. A really rather fantastic map for some long, fast, flowing roads. Oh, okay. Got to be a little bit careful with these crests. Maybe slower across the crest. The way I've attached it to the roof, it is only attached kind of at the back. The front is a little bit free to flap around. So, um... Yeah, maybe slowly does it over the crests uh, so that we don't have piano lift off. I also spy a lovely straight-ish part of road that is coming up. I also ignore the big speedo at the lower right-hand side. Uh, the middle speedo is the one we're going to be using airspeed rather than wheel speed. Are we going to be able to crack? We are going to crack the 100 mile an hour mark with our supercharged pickup truck at 105 when I'm going to go and grab the brakes for the next corner. Uh, does having a piano on your roof adversely affect the handling? Yeah. Yes, it does. It is relatively heavy. Oh, and this is already, uh, you know, it's a relatively high riding, relatively soft pickup truck. Quite easy for this to get onto two wheels at the best of times. So you add that uh, huge amount of mass very, very high up and you will have interesting times with the uh, with the cornering. Are we going to have any nice straights that we can really make the most of? Uh, gearbox is kind of not helping matters a huge amount in this. <laughs> it's not the most ridiculous sort of cornering I've ever driven on games, but certainly for vehicles going up onto two wheels. It could be worse. It's just enough to catch you off guard. I think we're going to have a nice straight bit after this turn. No, oh, no, we're not. Uh, can we? No, we're not going to be able to make the most of that as an opportunity there. Although, don't now go and... Uh, don't, it's, uh, <laughs> I want to be quick because you never know when you're going to get an opportunity to uh, open the taps up on the vehicle. But you've also got to be very mindful that the quicker you go, the more likely it is to want to roll over. This looks like a nice little bit we're coming up here. It's downhill, so we have gravity's assistance and a relatively long straight-ish part. Oh, it's not as straight as I'd hoped it would be here. Oh dear, things are about to go badly wrong for the D-Series. <laughs> Oops. Oops. Oops indeed. Uh, <laughs> it, it was in many ways a less spectacular crash than it could have been. I also like how the way that it was attached to the roof, because the roof has stayed has stayed pretty much in one piece here. Oops. Stayed strong. We've now essentially got a wooden spoiler. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a wooden roof spoiler. Uh, some other bits are attached somewhere. Oh, <laughs> 105 miles an hour. 105 miles an hour. Oh, apparently pianos like to eat tyres. Um, wow, that's really bugging up my truck, trying to run it over in well, celebration. 105 miles an hour. That is the speed that uh, we are going to try and uh, beat. The next vehicle to uh, have a try at getting the piano up to city speeds with a Moonhawk, the Elite Custom, another supercharged V8 uh, that's ah has a handbrake left on. That would uh, <laughs> why on earth wasn't it going? Yeah, the handbrake managed to get locked on. That's not gonna help. That's not gonna help matters at all. Now, handling-wise, we should be better. We should be able to carry more quarter speed in this vehicle after all. It has got less wobbly suspension, a much lower centre of mass to begin with. Can we go around 80 mile an hour quarters without rolling over? 
it looks like we might be able to. It kind of unloads the front wheels, but it's not too bad. I also learnt my lesson from the uh, pickup, and that is don't strap the piano down just by the back nodes. Now, we've got one at the front and one at the rear, so it should be better held in place. It's 102 miles an hour before I jump to the brakes, because I don't quite know. I'm trying a different road, seeing if this one here might have a uh, better... Oh, God. Uh, a better spot. I, I, I see a nice straight bit, but it is uphill, and that's not really where we want to be going, uh, particularly. Oh, okay, we'll go across the dirt there. That's no problem. Are we going to get airtime? Possibly, as we head up towards this. Come on, Moonhawk, you can do it. Oh, we've got airtime with the piano on the roof, and we're fine. We might get more airtime here. I kind of want to stay flat out, because it would be quite entertaining, although we're still not quite going to get airtime there. We are going to go around the corner. Oh, this is not quite as quick as I was expecting it to be. I'm going to be honest, we've still only got about 100 miles an hour. Ooh, slow it down. I think it has probably the same engine the D-Series has. I was expecting it, though, to be considerably lighter than the uh, than the D-Series. Uh, we've got to just about make those turns. Uh, I think we're actually going to end up looping our way back up to where we were, aren't we? Oh, yeah. Okay, shall we do some off-roading? Off-roading with a piano attached to the roof of a muscle car. Because, you know, that makes... Perfect, perfect sense. Ah, oh, can I not get up there? Is there a barrier all the way along there? That's disappointing. Don't mind me. I'm just... Well, maybe we could use this bit. Over, ooh! Um, now, well, we've still got most of a piano attached to the roof of our car. Let's maybe be a little bit more cautious. <laughs> okay, it, it, it's just about enough to be called a piano. I'm, I'm happy to say that that's still... It's only lost one end bit. Do we not loop our way back onto the road that I thought? Ah, okay, so this loop road just loops its way around. Down on... Ah. Okay. Well, we can keep heading in this direction. And might be able to make the most of some of these strobers. This isn't really as quick as I was hoping it would be. I'm going to be honest. I was I was expecting more performance from the muscle car. Oh, this is where we rolled. Oh, with the last one. We're not going to be able to do that. And we're going to go exploring... And, oh, we've lost a front left wheel. <laughs> and that will be the final resting place for the Moonhawk. We lost all of the steering, in fact, in that one. Yeah, not as much speed. Not as much speed as I was hoping in that, uh, in that vehicle at all. Well, have you ever wanted to know how fast you can drive a hill climb car with a piano strapped to the roof? That is what we intend on finding out here. We're going to head in a different direction with uh, this one and uh, try over here. Now, <laughs> the SBR4 is very, very, very quick. So we should be able to do over 105 miles an hour relatively easily. That being said, of course, we are still going to have corners and so on to worry about. For now, we will go to a drag strip, don't worry. But uh, I wanted to see what we could do on yeah these, these normal, normal roads. Uh, we're going to accelerate our way down here. Again, it's only up towards about 96 miles an hour. Ooh, slow down. I didn't realise we've got apparently Wiggly Road Central. Uh, i got to have a camera a little bit further back for this when you've got a piano obstructing your view. This is a cool road. A very cool road to uh, drive down. Oh, there we go. Now we can get it up into second. <laughs> it's bobbling around, but... It's uh, not quite lifting up on its side. We haven't quite got the big old silly rolls that I was uh, fearing we might get with just normal cars. It does... Oh, oh dear. Oh, wow, that's actually quite a catastrophic crash. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> okay, that road's not a good way to go. Now, thankfully, the way that I've got this set up, it can be a relatively quick and easy reset. It's a little bit fiddly. Okay, it's a little bit fiddly to get it all uh, all re reattached to the roof. There we go. It's not too terrible, though. Not too terrible. That's all connected. Okay, hill climb car. Let's see what you have got. We're going to head off in uh, this direction. And this is where we had the, to be honest, the best straight that we have found so far. We will have to be careful 
A across these crests, even with the power of the SBR4. Oh, God. Okay, that's not so good. Not so good at all. Like I said, even with the power of the SBR4, we're actually not getting up to massive, massive speeds at these earlier stages. Uh, yeah, the crests can cause real issues with the piano moving around on the roof. Just don't want to get airborne. Now we can really go for it. Now we can really use the speed of the car. Come on, 150 miles an hour is what I would like. 200 would be ideal. Come on. Oh, we're going to really struggle to go much more than 130. The whole piano is shaking around on the roof. <laughs> it's just moving around. It's moving around so much up there that uh, that was causing a lot of handling issues. It's just trying to get the car to vaguely, vaguely stay together as we go across these bumps, these crests. Oh, piano down! Piano disintegrated! <laughs> it's off! <laughs> Funnily enough, piano's not really built to travel at 130 miles an hour and hold together. <laughs> I think I think it might be it might, 130, 140 might be doable. I think where we had issues there is as we kind of came across the crest, we weakened a lot of the uh, piano. Like it, when it smacked back down, it took the it kind of took the door a little bit off the car. Like that crash is uh, maybe or what weakened slightly the the structural integrity, if you like, of the uh, piano. Although this time. It is moving around a little bit more. Uh, it'll do. It'll it'll do for now. I'm kind of just going on the imagine the things sort of strapped down. It wouldn't be fixed 100% perfectly in place. So that's why I'm only attaching two nodes at a time. Also attaching four from a brief test I did could cause the game to crash when you had a uh, accident. I say game to crash, just sort of reset the car because the physics wasn't 100% sure what to do with it. Here we go. We are lining up ready for our run with the uh, piano on the roof. This is it. We are positioned about as well as we can be expected to be. We're up to 130 miles an hour. It's better this time around, 135, before we're going to have to grab the brakes. Oh, you can see as we get on the brakes, the <laughs> piano trying to cling on to life here. I wonder if through just heavy cornering, no, heavy cornering, I'll have a crash uh, on my own and then it'll disintegrate. I say I'll have a, I'll have a crash on my own. I was wondering if I could turn sharp enough to cause the sort of piano itself to disintegrate. Uh, but no, I think in the end it's going to just sort of pull off bits before it uh, goes. But that's 130 miles an hour. We're down 133 miles an hour, in fact. Oh, God. <laughs> bits of piano are uh, tearing the car apart. It's not bad, though, is it? For a piano attached to the roof, I'll take 100 and 130 for now. For now, we can definitely go faster. Now, of course, the best place for possibly getting the speeds is always going to be a runway, especially one that is going to, by the looks of it, go downhill fairly bloody quickly. Now, the hill climb car is never going to be the ultimate in terms of uh, top end speed. The downforce, while keeping the car on the ground, will give us some drag. But it'll be interesting to see how much faster than the 130 miles an hour we can go. This is only a limited amount of space, however. It's not the biggest amount of space to try and accelerate up to a speed. It's going to be 130. 40 before we leave the area. Oh dear. And that's going to... <laughs> that's going to be that. With the... Uh, well, piano is long, long gone. It's only 140 though. Only a couple... Uh, few miles an hour faster. About 135 ish. Uh, so we haven't really got that... That much further. Much, much faster even, I should say. I don't know where the rest of the piano is just scattered across the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> scattered across the area. Um, we've almost got the 150 mile an hour target. We are still a long way off the 200. But there are vehicles, there are always vehicles, that might be capable of doing it. Of course, the next logical step is a drag car. The, the Moonhawk here, we know is very, very quick. May well catch fire in attempting this, but we do know is very fast indeed. What the piano is going to do in terms of the launch, well... I 
don't think we can really launch it too heavily. Uh, I say that, we're just going to go, we're kind of going to go for it. it Will Wheelie, it's moving about a lot as we're going downhill here. I'm going to go on the brakes. Uh, we're going to try and stop it before we wreck the piano on the first run. Well, it survived 160. Survived 160 miles an hour, which is a pretty good, and survived a very, very hard launch. Here we go, as again, we're going to head up a hill now. Uh, Wheelie Bar is doing its job very nicely. Okay, 200 might be looking possible. Uh, we're going to get on the brakes before we end up in the uh, very, very solid concrete over there. That would not be a nice place to finish off. Um... Yeah, it's looking like it might just about be a doable. We need we need all of the run-up we can get. Uh, we need all of the run-up that we can get here, so we'll back it up as far as we can go. This is it, piano. You are a little bit... Uh, the structure of the piano isn't great, so that might be a problem, but nevertheless, we're going to give it a try. All of gravity can uh, assist us here. The car moves about so bloody much down here. It's going to be 160, 170, 178 miles an hour. And that is when we are going to run out of map to uh, keep on going. Amazingly, the piano has stayed kind of intact. The one node there is uh, clinging on for dear life. <laughs> Really surprised by that one. That, that is going to cling on for dear life like that. Oh, and hey, we kind of recovered it all. We kind of managed to survive. As you could imagine, this thing is a very, very, very quick vehicle. The piano doesn't necessarily help it in terms of its acceleration. We're going to go 170. <laughs> bye bye, piano. Where did it go? <laughs> I think we might have just launched it clear. Uh, can we... Oh, no, it tabs its way only to... Oh, look at the rear... The <laughs> angle the rear wheels have come out. Where did the rest of the piano end up? Did we just fling it up? I mean, I assume we kind of hit the crest there and it got flung up into this bit somewhere. It was going 170 miles an hour, so it could be anywhere in this hillside. Anywhere at all. Well, 178 miles an hour looks like, I think, the fastest we're going to uh, get the, uh, well, whatever's left of the piano to be going. Uh, let's us have one more. I'm kind of curious now. I'm kind of curious. We've got to give it a try while we're here. Uh, we are going to, we'll have another crack at the 100-something uh, mile an hour or 200 mile an hour rundown. Uh, down, well, I say down towards it because of course we're going to be braking. I'm going to launch the car back up the runway at 170, 180 miles an hour and we will uh, hit the wall, see how far. We've made a kind of piano catapult out of a drag. It's an expensive way of launching a piano, I'm going to be honest. It's an expensive and convoluted way of, of launching a piano. Uh, apparently it's not held on at the front very well. Oh. Okay, that's not what we wanted to be seeing at all. How is that? Come on, I, must, I think I might have uh, connected like the piano to itself somewhere, node-wise. Ah, bugger. Right, we'll reset the car. It's, easy, it's easier to do it like this than it is to do anything else. Right, so if we hook that in there and then hook the back up there. Sure. Right. Here we go. Piano catapult attempt number two. Uh, you've got to at least make sure that your piano catapult is vaguely tied down before you set off on your journey of 180 miles an hour towards a concrete wall. Uh, we'll go as far down here as we can. Try not to lock the brakes up completely. Oh, I keep forgetting that we've got this one. It's got the drag gearbox in it. So <laughs> we have to leave that in automatic mode. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Piano catapult attempt number two, this time with a fully intact piano. Hopefully we might actually see where it lands after we splat into the wall at many, many miles an hour. Uh, unfortunately, we're probably not going to, yeah, we're not quite going to get enough height here, but piano. Ah, no, I think it just disintegrates into a pile there, doesn't it? It kind of goes up a little bit, but uh, yeah, that's where the most of it goes. Uh, <laughs> There's not much left of the. Uh, I mean, the safety cell's kind of done. It's kind of done its job. Kind of. I, I say that the steering wheel is slightly wet. Well, that would be uncomfortable. It would be uncomfortable. The roll cage is pretty well in in one piece. 
Yeah, piano, as far as piano launch goes, we did get a bit of it up here. Bit of it up here. We would need to get more height off of that, uh, <laughs> off of that bit there. So we're kind of wheeling our way into the, uh, into the wall. Yeah, debris has not made it as far as I had hoped. But we got 178 miles an hour out of a piano with the uh, spaces we had available. <laughs> That's a sorry state of affairs with that car. Yeah, with a downhill runway, 178 miles an hour, with the piano attached to the roof, would have had the control as well to stop it if they hadn't run out of map over, <laughs> over there. But uh, yeah, good is ever good fun to mess around with on beam. The node node joiner is a uh, very potentially useful thing for silly stuff. Oh, is that the gearbox? Oh, wow, the gearbox is actually. I've just noticed the gearbox has come through the center console essentially. <laughs> That's a big mess. Um, but yeah, I will, as ever, link any mods I've used in the description. As I said, this map is a mod. The rest of the stuff is all in the uh, in the base game. That will be it from me, though. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, uh, goodbye. Goodbye.